This is about problem-based learning. It is obvious to us that now and in the future, companies and the educational sector are facing more and more complex problems. Then the so-called problem-based learning can be a proposed solution. Simply that we change apprenticeship to something that is relevant to the learner, that doesn't allow knowledge to be memorized, but allows it to be constructed, that allows things to be negotiated, also to tie into existing knowledge, and most importantly, lets the learner take self-control instead of being controlled by others. And all of this happens in problem-based learning through the pull of strong tasks. What does this look like in specific terms? Let's have a look at a very concrete scenario. Let's assume a trainee is working at a company and is given the task of digitizing the analog project documentation for the customer, which used to be done using pen and paper. The first thing to ask is, why do I need this? What's the relevance? Why does it make sense at that point? And in our case, of course, you can say this is more customer friendly, it's more effective and efficient and it saves a lot of time. Can the learner then build on existing knowledge? What knowledge about project documentation in general, about specifications and frameworks is already there and can now be moved to the digital domain? How is the trainee developing? For example, by researching things which are already available on the internet, like certain examples about digital project documentation, and when he may also be stuck, he gets help to implement it himself. And again, it's important that these tasks, these problems, and these challenges are as practical as possible, and just accordingly lead to a new kind of learning. Or maybe the whole idea is not so new. Because Confucius already knew, tell me and I will forget. Show me and I may remember. Involve me and I will understand. Actually, problem-based learning is nothing new at all. Because that's exactly how our brain seems to perceive and combine things as optimally as possible. But it's just that sometimes imparting knowledge is more about memorization. And it's worthwhile to turn the whole thing upside down a little bit and make it problem-based. So, implementation should always be done on real-life examples, with open questions as Conrad Wolfram defines it here. In other words, the training should ask itself the question, what actually does make sense, at which point? What do you do in the analog space when we work together? What does it do in the digital domain and how can we make it as meaningful as possible? Because that's also another pull that can lead to motivation in trainees. And that, of course, requires the courage for adaptive learning design because rigid specifications no longer work so well. In summary, this means that we should focus on human needs, develop our concepts for training, and then look at how technology can help us to put the whole thing into practice. So problem-based learning is of course also part of the new error culture, because you learn from mistakes that you've made, and critical thinking is, of course, also part of that. Problem-based learning is critical thinking in action. We already know about this important core skill of critical thinking, which is rather an abstract skill put into practice here. And that's just what you can ask yourself. Where is problem-based learning already taking place in your organization? Where do you find examples where this is put into practice? Or where do you see potential 
that this can be put into practice in the future.